What is up? I'm Moana Turtle. Today we are doing a Ultra Shiny GX opening. We're opening a box of the Korean Ultra Shiny. Uh, but I also want to talk about the upcoming set, um, Hidden Fates, and how I am 100% positive this is going to be the English version of Ultra Shiny. Uh, and talk about the financial aspect of this, because I do think August is going to be a pretty insane month. Um, so we do have Unified Minds dropping in early August, and then... Uh, hidden fates dropping later in the month um so there's gonna be a lot to purchase and especially for like you know my fellow pokytubers um if you are planning on making purchases i do recommend you kind of be a little bit proactive about it so let's just take a look at some information okay to start um this is on poke beach as always water pokemon master um all of his posts are super useful and for anyone that still doubts whether hidden fates will have the shinies uh, i feel like this kind of seals the deal so if you can kind of see the picture is not that large but like mewtwo he has his green shiny mewtwo uh, the charizard is dark the shiny charizard um and not only they expand the set so it includes some additional stuff uh one of them being the stained glass uh three uh, legendary birds um, that was in a different Japanese set but it looks absolutely amazing so they're featuring this card as well in this set um, and so this is going to follow the same exact pattern as <coughs> excuse me um, Dragon's Majesty where they kind of started with a three pack uh, plus a promo card uh, and last time was Latios and Latias um, and this time it's going to be Mew and Mewtwo and they're going to release with that because that's probably like the the worst purchase um, and looks like it's gonna come out August 23rd so that's like 20 days after Unified Minds and it's gonna MSRP for $15 um, so and a lot of people have asked me like you know where where is it that I buy my product um, a majority of my pre-orders do come from this site uh, Game Nerds I'm not sponsored or anything uh, but I do think it's especially for this upcoming um, in, in August it's, things are just gonna be really expensive so I do want to throw this information out there uh, so yeah so MSRP $15 and you can pre-order it from game nerds uh, for like under 12 bucks um, pretty good and so it does come with the promo Mew or Mewtwo as well as the three hidden fates pack which will include the shinies and so that's August 23rd and a couple weeks later is the when they release the the tins for hidden fates and there's so that's gonna be September 6th it's going to MSRP for 12 20 you can get it for 18 on the site and we'll have four booster packs and one foil one foil promo as far as what the promos will be um, back to Pokey Beach it will have this Charizard Gyarados so these cards were in the Japanese the family box Kind of like a set to learn uh help you learn to play so like these moves they're not very complicated there's not a lot of text uh so there'll be a gyarados raichu and then a charizard um my opinion would be that you should just kind of pre-order to save save some money uh get at least one of each and i think it's easy to say the one that will be kind of like the most sought after will be the charizard um so you can also pick those up as well on Gabe Nerds, my recommendation would be pick up at least a couple of the Charizard and one of the other ones. And then lastly, so if you remember Dragon's Majesty, the last thing to release was the Elite Trainer Box. So that's at September 20th. So it's a huge time uh, time gap between those because I feel like those other ones are like the worst deal and they kind of like sweeten it up as it goes. And then the last thing is the Elite Trainer Box. So remember, this is kind of like um, Shining Legends. Uh, and then Dragon's Majesty, where the, there's no booster boxes. You can only get the the best, uh, you know, the cheapest per price per pack is in the Elite Trainer box, where they come with 10 packs as well as a promo. Um, so this one, it does come with the full art. I'm not sure if this is the uh, the stained glass. My guess is no. I'm, I'm guessing that's like the, the secret rare that you want to pull. And does come with 10 booster packs. So. Um, the important thing here is that these Elite Trainer Box, the MSRP is not 40 like all the other sets. Uh, so actually this price and the MSRP will be 50 and this 36 is actually in my opinion a very good deal and I think everyone should seriously consider pre-ordering it. Uh, so if we were to look at what prices now are for Dragon Majesty well after release, um, and in my opinion that set was actually pretty bad. Um, I feel like I was really hyped for it and I was pretty disappointed. Um, but if I take a did a couple quick searches so the elite trainer box of dragon majesty on amazon you can't get it for less than 55 bucks 
And if I a quick Google search, so like all the other stores are kind of holding the MSRP where Walmart $50, GameStop $50, and even the Pokemon website has it listed at fifty dollars. So obviously, there's always like uh, you know deals every once in a while at like Target and Walmart where you can get like ten percent off and stuff like that. Um, but you know, I do think pre-order is probably like the best time to get it where you can get uh, for less than thirty-seven uh, before tax. So I guess my point is, uh, especially again to all the to fellow PokeTubers, is August is going to be. <laughs> It could be a pretty expensive month with Unified Minds coming on the beginning and then uh, later in August and then through September all this Hidden Fates is coming out. <coughs> and I think the set is going to be huge. So Ultra Shiny Japanese was a huge hit. Um, and you know what now when it's finally coming to English there's going to be a lot of hype. A lot of people are going to be hunting that that shiny Charizard. Uh, you think the Reshizard is bad. Like Imagine like a shiny one. So... Um, yeah, a couple people have asked me, you know, where, where do you pick up the product? And I think this one is really important to bring up just because um, there's just so much stuff coming out and things will be financially might be kind of tight just with Unified Minds coming out at the same time. So that's all I want to talk about. And uh, now, so now let's get into a box of the Korean uh, Ultra Shiny GX. Um, so yeah, there's also the Japanese and the Korean. If you do want to get one of those uh, now, if you want to want to open some, I do have some links down in the description along with the Game Nerd links um, where you can pick some up for pretty good prices on eBay. Okay, so if you've seen my previous videos of opening the Korean box, uh, one suggestion would be to grab a pair of scissors because the, box, the packs, they didn't do a very good job of uh, making the packs, or at least they don't open very well compared to like the English. So actually, a pair of scissors is actually the way to do it. The Korean is, so if you're not familiar with these boxes, the Japanese comes with 10, I call them like super loaded packs where each one comes with like a GX if it doesn't have a shiny or SR or SSR. Each box will have two, possibly three SRs, which is typically a shiny or a gold card or full trainer, and then one SSR, which is a GX shiny. And then the Korean, so one thing to notice real quick is that the card is super glossy for the Korean set, which is really nice, especially for the energies, and the cards are super warped. Uh, but the way that the Korean set works is there's two hollows at the back. No card trick required, so we have a whooper. Execute, water energy, look at that energy. You can see my myself in the reflection. Uh, Gibble Gabite, Inke, a skateboard, Frost Rotom, Acerola, and then um, breaks in. Ooh, right off the bat, a shiny. Um, uh, here's my sleeve. All right, so there's a shiny. Um, wow, Rowlet. Then before to CGY, well, I'm totally blanking on his name, but uh, I've, I'm never crazy about the stage ones. I feel like the stage. The basic and then the stage twos are, are the ones I prefer. Um, so for the Korean set, you know, they're the GX, you don't get as many GXs, um, but I feel like the chances of getting three SRs is actually quite high. I find it more reliable to get three SRs for the Korean uh, compared to the Japanese. Uh, so if you do want to just do an opening, and especially if you like these energies, uh, the Korean is the much cheaper. So on eBay, you can get them now for, uh, I think I'll link in the description down below, where it's like 28, I think, and that's shipped in from Korea and actually ships really fast. Uh, for Japanese, I think it's just under 80 per box. Uh, in the Korean, you do have 15 packs versus the um, Korean uh, your 10 packs for Japanese 15 for Korean uh, so then these are the two owls we do have a Zygarde and a Zekrom so these are all part of like the um, SM eras and so it's kind of like a reprint set but then they also have the shinies which you can pick up all right so let's see we got the bricks in again Zuelis grass energy Cosmoum a Ralts remember your name, uh, Mo Rotom, Copycat, a uh, Deancey, and then a Celesteela. So a lot of these arts will look familiar, and um, I, in, in all honesty, kind of like what, you're, what you are looking for are what shinies you get when you open these kind of packs. 
Uh, my assessment is I do enjoy the Japanese one. I feel like when it comes to long-term value, um, Japanese one definitely takes the cake. Uh, and we'll see how the English one does. I think this set is going to be absolutely huge. Hidden Fates, terrible name, but it's going to be a monster set. Everyone's going to be looking for those Shining Charizards and the Stained Glass Legendary Birds. Alright, so then we have a Hoopa and then a Buzzwall GX. Not bad. One thing to note is... Um, so, Japanese cards, you can obviously get PSA graded. I'm not sure if you can even do Korean. Maybe that's something they, they will start to do, but... I think it's safe to say, especially with how cheap these are, for 15 packs for, like, less than $30, it's like $2 a pack. Shipped from Korea. So, uh, definitely the Korean one's definitely the way to go. If you just want to do some openings, I'm just not sure how valuable the cards will be at any point. All right, let's start looking at the cards. We got a Manaphy, and then, ooh, okay, that's a pretty good uh, SSR. I'm not sure if I pulled this one before, but we do have the Grandpa Dragon Drampa for our SSR. So there you can kind of see it, the SSR uh, versus the SR for just the regular Shiny or the non-GX Shiny. Not sure if you guys could hear that siren, but there you go. So this is what a GX Shiny looks like. And these cards are absolutely amazing. So excited they're coming in English. Uh, it's just, man, I feel like it's going to be super expensive. Um, and the one thing I haven't seen evidence on, so if you think about like uh, Shining Legends and then Dragon's Magic, then they came out with like the absurdly priced premium box, which I think like in the beginning, like MSRPs for like $100, like if you buy it from the store. Uh, but eventually the price will drop to like 80 or something. But and it just comes with a bunch of promos and not that many packs and sometimes they come with like all these different boxes as well uh, i just haven't seen any announcement for that it seems all we could find is like the three pack uh plus kind of irrelevant promo um and then this one has like the tins for the that uh, gyarados charizard and raichu uh and then the um elite trainer box which will drop last and towards the end of september I will say that I'm not crazy about how they how they're doing that. It feels very like cash grabby to me. Where, in my opinion, first they kind of offer the worst deal in that three pack thing, um, and yeah, fifteen dollars for three packs is super expensive. Uh, which again, it's why I kind of suggest you know the pre order stuff. Um, in my opinion, for that one, it's really worth it uh, for a set that I think is going to be super sought after. All right, let's start looking at the cards again. We have an Alolan Diglett, a Morgan, Venusaur, big fan of that art, Fan Rotom, Altaria, and ooh, shiny. Sw oh, that's a that's a cool pack right there. So do we do we do do uh, we do have a shiny Swablu. But if it's the same set plus more, uh, there's gonna be. I feel like there's gonna be so many things to go after like all the bait like actually they don't have all the base but they'll have you know shiny Ch uh, Charmander Charmeleon and then the Charizard obviously uh, the Rayquaza Mewtwo let's see a lot of the stuff from the SM era so uh, Leafeon Sylveon uh, Scyther Ooh, Cynthia full art Cynthia full art Guzma all right, let's see, we have Oranguru. Actually, even Shiny Oranguru would be pretty good uh, with the Instruct. And then we have a Diancy Prism Star. So let me know in a comment down below what your thoughts are. Um, and what, what are your plans? Do you, are you going to go big on this set? Um, I feel like I want to, but it's going to be tough to split split things with all the stuff coming on the same time frame i feel like unified minds are like might be one that i just kind of go really easy on as a result we have a xerneas for this pack and then a pheromosa uh, so we still do have a handful of packs we're looking for one more sr so the srs again can be a non-gx shiny a full art supporter or the gold cards which include the guardian so tapu lele uh, fini bulu and Coco, as well as the most of the SM full uh, trainers or supporters, 
And the, the ones that will be absolutely huge again are that Guzma, that Cynthia, and I feel like that was for it for the most part, as far as like the meta defining ones that are always the most expensive. All right, for this pack, we have a type null and then another Zygarde. But the fact that they don't offer like booster boxes for this set will be kind of, and I'm curious about the ratios that they'll do. So again, for these um, Japanese and Korean boxes, you're always guaranteed a SSR. I've never seen a box that didn't have one, and they always had at least two SRs. And I'm curious how they'll do the same thing for Hidden Fates. I think this is Nita, Alolan Marowak, Fire Rotom, Marshadow, Let Loose, and then, ooh, Galissapod. Very nice. The first impression, I believe, is that attack. I think it does like 120 or something. I don't think I need to sleeve that actually. Yeah, usually you kind of just like sleeve up and uh, put in. Oh, that's another thing. If the cards are warped, if you pick up the Japanese or Korean, uh, you'll want to sleeve them and then put them in a top loader. Because, yeah, look at this warpage. And it only gets worse after it comes out of the pack. So definitely toss it in a sleeve, toss it in a top loader just to keep that card from warping like crazy. All right, we have an Ingo and Emmett, Frost Rodom, Metal Frying Pan, uh, Duskmane Necrozma, and then another Zygarde. All right, we have two packs left and still looking for that last SR. But yeah, I hope this, all this information is useful to you, and um, yeah, I, like at this point, 100% confident that Hidden Fates is the English printing of Ultra Shiny GX, and even in the Japanese set, I feel like that's the one that get, got the most hype uh, in the US as far as Japanese sets go. So we have a Dark Rye, and then a Manaphy. So, alright, we only have one last try to pick up that third SR, and I feel like for the uh, these... You, have, you do have a very solid chance of picking up that third SR. So let's see if we can do it right here. Get some last pack magic. It's almost always the last card. All right, let's see. We got to execute. Eevee. Ah, look at those energies. <laughs> you can see my reflection. Uh, metal energy. Poiple. Magnemite. Mysterious treasure. A Magirna. Uh, Rotom. Diancy. Oh, yeah, so we did get three SRs. The Lucar. Oh, I feel like I have a lot of Lucario. I feel like I have a, a good number of Japanese and Korean Lucarios. And Swablu as well. I feel like I pull a lot of those. And then we have the. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Rowlet. And then between Rowlet and Sidui. And then the Grandpa Dragon. Drampa himself for our SSR. So, very happy with these pulls. Four shinies. Uh, yeah, you know, the, the Korean, I have my doubts about the longevity of these Korean cards, uh, but I just love the, I feel like the energies are just so nice. They're so shiny, like, um, I don't play IRL, but if I if I did, I'd probably just leave up these ones. Um, you know, that, I'm sure, or it's not tournament legal, but uh, if I were to play casually, I'd probably sleeve up those shiny, shiny energies. Um, and then, yeah. Get get your shiny Pokemon if you want. Uh, in 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 Korean or Japanese, links down below. Um, and if you do want some of the English, I highly recommend you check out the Game Nerds links just to pick up to pre-order. I feel like the savings are actually going to be worth it, especially for the Elite Trainer box, which is going to be the best way to get uh, Hidden Fates packs. Um, again, the MSR, when you see the price tag for 36, it's because the MSRP will be 50. And as far as I can tell for Dragon Majesty, which was a not a very good set, those prices are holding. So, all right, that's all I had for today. Hope this information was useful. Let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below. And uh, be, be sure to hit that like button on your way out. If you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that sub button as well. And thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.